Hey beautiful weirdos, how are you? Welcome back to Pretty Scary and hello if it's your first time here. Today I am doing a look from one of my favourite TV shows. I am obsessed. It is of course The Handmaid's Tale. If you've not watched it, please do. And if you'd like to see how I created this look, keep watching. Right, first things first, let's make ourselves look a little weathered and a little worn down because these ladies are really ground down by society. And so first of all, I'm taking some red lipstick. You can use any red pigment you have. And I'm just patting that around my nose and around my eyes. And yes, I did actually put it around the eye that was going to be gouged. And I realized that's a later point, as, as you would tell by my face. And I just also used some greyish toned eyeshadow to make my dark circles look even darker. I could have really just skipped this step because I look like I haven't slept for about three weeks anyway. I do suffer with quite bad dark circles, but anyway, yes, that's when I realised that I have done the eye that I'm going to be gouging anyway. Right, in interest of full disclosure, the first attempt at this went dramatically wrong. So it all started off well. I stuck my eye down with some surgical tape. That was fine put on the silicone and that is where it started to go wrong. Firstly, I put on way too much silicone and then not only did I put on way too much silicone, I also put on way too much colour. The colour was way too deep so it just ended up looking like this really nasty, angry, fake looking wound. So I tried to correct that with some lighter colour and it just went from bad to worse. Now the reason I'm showing you this, I could have just left this out, but I just want to show you that, see, it looks pretty awful, doesn't it? I just wanted to show you that, yes, everybody makes mistakes and yeah, sometimes you need to practice a few times, especially when using new materials. And I haven't used a skin safe silicone very often. In fact, this is only my second time. So anyway, here is my second attempt, which went much, much better. So you want to take the surgical tape, make sure you've cleaned the eye area first of all so there's no skin oils which will stop the tape and the silicone sticking. Tear the edges of the tape so you've got a more natural edge because they are easier to cover than a flat sharp edge and just stick your eye down and then this is my brand of skin sculpt, well not my brand as such, I don't own it or I don't make it but this is the brand that I've bought, there's several brands on the market. Um, I got this from the Makeup Armoury, which is a brilliant website. I will link it below. It's got everything a makeup artist could desire, and they are wonderful. When I got this for the post, they'd sent me a cabbage cream egg as well, because it was around Easter, which I just love little touches like that. Anyway, what you want to do is take equal parts of part A and B. Make sure you either use separate spatulas or that you thoroughly clean the spatula between decanting each of the parts because one part activates the other and the last thing you want to do is contaminate one of the parts with the other part because then you will completely ruin your silicone. The third part you saw incidentally was a softener which I won't be using here. Anyway, I'm just mixing it up just on a sheet of paper. You can use whatever surface you have. Just make sure you clean it well if it's a surface you want to use again. That's why I'm using paper because I can just throw it away. Now, at, this is how I filmed it. Boob cam is the only way I can film things on my table at the moment. I've got such a ratchet setup. Anyway, ratchet, I don't think I've ever used that word before. Right, I'm digressing. So, I went in and started putting the silicone over the pieces of tape and I was a lot more sparing this time instead of going in with a massive blob like I did the last time. What you want to do for this look and make sure you use some reference photographs of the poor Janine who had her eye gouged out because she has not only is her eye shut and clearly there is no eyeball behind the eyelid but she's also got lots of scars on her eyelid. You can imagine the removal was particularly violent. It's a very harrowing scene in the show. For those of you that have seen it, you will know what I mean. They don't show the actual eye gouging, but often what you're imagining is worse than what you actually see. Anyway, so smooth the silicone over the edges of the tape to cover them and also smooth, smooth enough on that you can create the sort of deep scratch marks, if you like. Um, which have formed the scars which you see on Janine at a later point once the eye has healed. Now, 
In order to smooth the silicon down and in order to create the scarring, you need to make sure that you have some lubrication on your spatula. I used Vaseline, you can use a colourless lip balm or a moisturiser, whatever works for you. Um, otherwise, it's very much like FX Wax if you've ever used FX Wax and if you don't use something to lubricate your spatula, then you'll find it will stick and it will drag the silicone off the skin. So use plenty of your lubricant. I feel wrong saying lubricant in a makeup tutorial. <laughs> use plenty of your lubricant to ensure that you are, you are not sticking to the silicone and that you are smoothing the edges away to nothing so that you get a really nice smooth edge. That is the beauty of this product. You get a really nice realistic look because not only can you smooth the edges away, but it's also translucent. Although this product is a lot more expensive than the old latex and cotton wool, this gives a professional look, whereas latex and cotton wool is great for kind of character looks at home and on a budget. Right, once you've smoothed away the edges, what you want to do, and what you saw me doing there, is clean off the lubricant that you've used. Um, because once you start painting over the top, you do not want that lubrication to be in the way because it will block your paint. I'm just smoothing a little extra silicone on there because I felt like I needed a little more to deepen that top scar a little more. If you look at the pictures of Janine, that top scar is particularly deep. Now just wait for the silicone to dry, check your phone, have a drink, go for a jog. Now I'm only joking about the last bit, you look a bit odd going for a jog with this on your eye. But yeah, wait for it to completely dry, clean away the lubrication and then it's time to go in with some powder. <laughs> to go wild, isn't it? Yes, I went in with some translucent powder just to take away the shine and just to absorb any extra lubrication on there. How many times am I going to say lubrication in this tutorial? And the powder also had the added benefit of adding a little bit of skin tone colour to that white clear silicon. Right, I am colouring with alcohol paints, but you can use water-based paints or even some lipsticks or eyeshadows, whatever you happen to have. Now, the one thing I would say is be very, very sparing with the colour. You can always add more, but it's harder to take away. I'm going in with a very thin artist brush and just applying some deep red, very, very sparingly in a very light wash into those deeper areas of the scar so make the scars look nice and angry and a good tip to ensure that this piece blends even more into your skin is to take the red angry scar lines just slightly outside of the silicone onto your skin because it helps just blur those edges I am then going in with a sort of brown toned eyeshadow mixed with some fixing spray just to paint along a fake lash line so obviously you want to match this colour to whatever colour your natural lashes are and it just kind of mimics your lash line to make it look as if your eye is kind of fused shut with all that scar tissue. This works pretty well as you can see. And then I'm just going in with some more red in very light washes just to make those edges and those scars look a little bit more angry. If you do put a little bit too much on, if you're using alcohol paint, you can just go in with some more alcohol to thin it. Just be aware that you are using 99% alcohol around your eye area, so be very careful, especially if you have very sensitive skin. Now I'm going in with a light fluffy brush and some more very, very light washes of that red, just to blend that silicone into my skin tone a little better. If you do this effectively enough, then you won't need to put any skin tone over it because what you want to do is keep these washes as light as possible so you don't lose the translucency of that silicone which is exactly the mistake I made in the first attempt. As a final touch I'm going in with a little bit of blue in the scars and just touching up that lash line and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video, it's a new technique which I hope you all enjoyed learning. If you did like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.